<laughs> so I'm trying to figure out where we go next. We're kind of at a crossroads. We could go straight up right into Ukraine, or we could take a right and cross through Moldova, and I'm not sure which one is best. I know that if we go through Moldova, that'll give us more episodes and more content, but it'll take a lot longer to actually get to Ukraine, and this is called the road to Ukraine, so. Okay, update. After running the idea by people on Instagram, it seems like the border between Moldova and Ukraine is closed right now because of the proximity to Odessa. So even if we go to Moldova, it seems like we probably couldn't continue into Ukraine. And you know, maybe the people on Instagram are wrong, but it doesn't seem worth the risk. It would be absolutely terrible to drive all the way through Moldova just to find that we can't cross. So we will not be going to Moldova. We do still need to pick up our package from that drop box. It's about a mile away. I'm glad there's basically nobody else on the road. The city seems like it would be a nightmare to traverse if there was traffic. Okay, locker boxes, where are you at? If I had to guess, I would say it is this one, right there. Now, the guy that sent this to me gave me the QR code that we need to scan. Um, English, English. N, I. Code validation, oh, look at that. You can see other people's packages in there too, but this is the one that we need. God, this guy is so fantastic. He was helping me shop online for it, and I was per I was totally gonna purchase it myself. But then just he came out. He's like, you know what? It's only thirty bucks. Whatever, I got you. Super cool. Here we go. Now I just need to see if this actually solves the problem. Let's pull the battery out right here. Ah, don't fall over. Okay, good. You're not falling. Plug this guy in. Okay, the light comes on, and then plug in the battery. Oh my god, it's working, it's charging. Fuck yes. So now that we know that this works, what this means is that I need to get rid of one of the ones that I currently own. And this is actually hard for me to do because this one is actually better than this one. This one charges the batteries faster. This is a better charger than this. But I need to get rid of it because I don't have a lot of space just for these massive bricks. So what I'm gonna do, if any of my audience happens to be in Bratsov and they want a really fast e-bike charger, I'm gonna leave this here by the locker box. This is the address for the locker box. Okay, let's go. I know that I wanna go to Little while we're here because I really like their grilled cheese sandwich thingies. Oh, I found one of those bottle redemption places. I don't keep any of my bottles with me for recycling just because they take up so much space, but if I wasn't space constrained, I would recycle all of my bottles. I think they give you back like 25 cents or something. That can just stay there. <laughs> oh, it smells great. I'm not sure what these things are, but they're packaged and they say Nutella on them. And then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna get a whole bunch of the ham and cheese croissants. Also, I think I was wrong about these. When I first encountered them, I called them Hungarian pizza because I first found them in Hungary, but I've seen them all over the place now. I don't think they're Hungarian. You also need to eat them relatively quickly because they do not store well. All of the moisture in the pizza sauce causes the bread to get soggy. It doesn't look like they have any sugar. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's get a couple of these guys. They're still not cheap. I'm pretty sure that's a dollar per can. The lines in Little are always super long. $10. <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna try is these Nutella muffin looking things. It's like a banana muffin with Nutella in the middle. God, that's really good. If the lines in Little weren't so freaking long, I would be tempted to go back and get another one of these. I finished the other one. Lastly, we're gonna have some ham and cheese croissants. 
The best time to get these is early in the morning when they're hot, but they're still good even in the afternoon. Okay, looking at the map, we are about 160 miles away from Kluge Napoli. That was originally where we were going to go before we got sidetracked with Dracula's castle. So we're still gonna go there. We just got a long way to go before we get there. Oh, gotta turn the bike on. Nope, that's the horn. Hey, the horn works even when the bike is off. I'm not sure if that's good or not, but that's interesting. That means the horn is probably on its own circuit. You know what, these bicycle lanes aren't that bad actually. I gotta put sunscreen on. Oh hey, look at this. I found a little screwdriver. We're gonna keep that. So the road ahead goes up to 100 kilometers per hour. It's a two-lane highway. Fuck. But apparently I'm not the only cyclist on this road. That's surprising. These roads aren't nearly as bad when there's no traffic. I found a little restaurant by the side of the road. I'm not necessarily hungry, but I could charge the bike while I eat something. See, this is why camping is dangerous. You would expect a place like this to have outlets. Okay, I guess we're back on the road. Like it's crazy to me that places here, they can have full dining establishments with restrooms and coffee and just nobody uses laptops, I guess. I wasn't hungry, so it doesn't matter. So this town right here is called Fagras. Now exit onto Boulevard Hungary, DN1. That is an impressive church. I wonder how many hungry people they could have fed with all that money. But hey, that's good. Jesus was really clear. When you have a lot of money, get a golden roof. Like if you guys are ever curious why Protestants split off between Orthodox and Catholic, it's because of stuff like that. This is literally a cafe. This is baffling. Let's try the one next door. We're gonna keep searching because we've got two bars left. Oh my god, you guys, there is a Turkish restaurant up the street from here. They sell Lama Jun. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And there's an outlet. Fuck yeah, perfect. They gave me a menu, but I already know what I want. I just need to find a picture of it to show them. Hello, can I get two Lama Jun? Uh, with extra lemons. Okay, that, I yes, know what you perfect. Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. Let's look at my stuff. Okay, so apparently this place is new. Like, they opened up in the past couple of months. So if you guys happen to be in... How do you pronounce this town? Fagras? Fagras. Yeah, if you guys happen to be in Fagras and you want some Turkish restaurants, Narin. Yeah, I feel like I'm the wrong person to give a review for your place. I can't pronounce it. No, I was worried that they would be upset that I'm, like, trying to charge stuff, but they saw me filming, and I think that, I think that having a camera works to my advantage. Okay, so apparently this is Turkish cola and they want me to try it. It tastes sweeter than Coke. He just gave it to me for free. God, I'm having such a great time. No, he came up to me, he's like, he saw me filming, he's like, how did you find out about this place? Did you like see good reviews? I'm like, no, I saw Lama Zun. I feel bad, they gave me another one. Fantastic, thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> it's not often that I have people want to be on camera. Mm -hmm. 
These are honestly some of the best I've ever had, which is saying a lot because I eat this a lot. Okay, so it was like $11 for the full meal. Okay, I made sure to leave a big tip just because I want to support them as much as I can. Thank you guys so much. Bye. God, I'm in a great mood now. Also, for everybody that's saying that I should have just used Google Translate for my last video, you guys have to remember he was like 80 years old. Like think about your grandparents. Think about trying to talk to them through Google Translate. Trying to put like a phone in front of their face so that they can like see the individual letters. Trying to make them thumb out their responses for you. It would have been super disrespectful to make him try to talk to me through my phone like that. I'm not even sure if he's ever used a smartphone, honestly. If he was a younger guy, I certainly would have tried that. We got one golden church and one silver church. All we need is bronze and we've got the trifecta. Well, that bridge isn't out. Oh, damn, and the detour is really far away. Fuck. Hi, pups. I have food. Yeah, food. Here you go. Come on. Okay, but you gotta come get it. Like, I'm okay, I guess I can throw it to you. God damn it, I'm throwing pieces of the fucking Hungarian pizza at them and they just keep running away. Most of the time when I see dogs, I don't actually have food to give them. I do this time, so I will. Okay, so this is gonna sound strange, but I feel like it is harder to pedal than it should be. I think my tires are a little flat. I'm gonna pump up my tires real quick. Let's go 25 PSI. God, this is so much nicer than having to do it by hand. <laughs> it got the tires pumped up, but it died. Look at that. The battery died. So that means this thing has enough battery to pump up my tires once. And that's not even from empty. <laughs> I guess that's what you get for getting a really small pump. You get a really small battery. Luckily, its battery life isn't that important. I can just charge it up again next time I'm at a place with an outlet. Let's go. Cows. So I found this little forest thing. If there was ever a spot to camp, I think it's here. I wanna move the bike a little bit away from the path. Just in case anybody's walking through there, I don't wanna disturb them or have them disturb me. I no longer have cell signal. Yeah, this is another spot I bet bears chill. Like, if bears were gonna chill somewhere, this seems like a pretty good spot to do it. Okay, I got a spot laid out for the tent. It seems to be more or less flat. There's no sticks poking up. Mm -hmm. Regretfully, there are mosquitoes out here. I can hear them. I'll be in my tent soon, but... <coughs> oh, fucking yuck.
This tent is actually faster to set up and tear down than my last tent was. Is it gonna rain tonight? Probably not. Tonight in Mergindil, there's only a very slight chance of rain. Cool, cool, and I guess I have data. Honestly, this pump lasts way longer than the pump for my tires. I'm pretty sure a bee got in my tent somehow. I'm not sure if it's from yesterday and it's just like dying. I don't want to touch it. I'm going to deposit it outside the tent. I did look at what the booking.com places cost in the area. The cheapest one is 30 bucks. Doing this is saving us $30. It means that tomorrow we will need to figure out how to charge the bike, but that's a future Nate problem. Now I do have a bunch of batteries that I can use to charge the bike batteries up a little bit. I've got that one, got that one. I should also figure out what I want to do with the food that I got at Little because it's not sealed and I think bears can probably smell it. Well, I can't eat the food. That seems like a good option. Okay, I got this battery charging this battery. You can see that it is pulling 92 watts in right now. So that means that that'll last for about an hour before that battery is dead. While that charges, I wanna go explore the forest. Perfect, we are at the bottom of that hill, so anybody walking on this path right here won't be able to see it, unless they're, you know, tall. Let's see where this path goes. <laughs> the light looks fucking golden. I hope I don't walk into a spider web. I'm not sure what kind of spiders they have here. They might not be nice. Holy fuck. I see a fucking deer. <sighs> Mosquitoes are starting to come out. Should probably retreat to the safety of my tent. I haven't decided if, oh, get out of here mosquito. Shoo. I haven't decided if I want to edit this video here, if I want to wait till tomorrow to edit it. Okay, I've decided I'm not going to edit the video tonight because that'll give me something to do tomorrow while I charge the bike. God damn it. Oh no, I spilled. Fuck. There's not a whole lot of, no, there's not a whole lot of space in this tent. Well, plus side, it is sugar-free, so it's not gonna make anything sticky. It's basically just water. I wonder if I can use this as a cup holder. Only if the drink is like moderately already consumed, it needs to be like down to here, but yeah. That doesn't seem like it's gonna spill very easily. I turned the light off because there's definitely something walking out there through the forest. It's probably just a deer. I'm sure it's fine. I'm basically just mopping. I think I've mostly got this dried up. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, there's definitely something outside of my tent. Uh, I can hear it. It sounds big and it's thrashing through the leaves. So, in answer to the question, I would much rather that be a man than that be a bear. If it happens to just be a really fat dude, that's cool. If it is a hungry bear, less cool.